it everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is crystal for those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel if you are not new then welcome back girl so in today's video we're talking all about knee-high boots girl let me tell you i am excited this is my favorite season of the year for fashion because i get to pull out my knee-high boots because that's this is the only time i can wear them and i love them they're, they're probably my favorite type of shoe wear to you know style up and you can just style them up in so many different ways you know with like dresses with skirts obviously you know with you know with jeans you know skinny jeans is you know we got we still gotta rock our skinny jeans girl because how are we gonna get you know our knee-high boots over our jeans if they're not skinny so yeah you know we can sign up over you know skinny jeans you know trousers if you're into that look it kind of looks kind of bulky to me i've tried that look before and it, i just kind of wasn't feeling it but you can style them up with trousers um you can also style them up with shorts i prefer styling them up with like bermuda shorts like a longer type short i don't really to me and it's just personal preference to me i don't really like to style them up with like any kind of short shorts although i don't really have a lot of short shorts either but yeah you can style them up with shorts um like i said bermuda shorts like a trouser type of short or you can style them up with like some faux leather shorts you know if you have some i do have some in my wardrobe they're not really bermuda they're kind of like a little bit shorter than a bermuda kind of like in between if you will so yeah you can style them up in so many different ways like i just love them i think they look so cute and so chic and any woman that you know has them on just looks sophisticated looks classy they are kind of to me a dressed up type of a shoe because I don't know I guess you can kind of dress them down a little bit but for me I feel like they're more of a dressy type of shoe you know so yeah this is just our season girl to just to rock the boots so I did do a corresponding blog post for you guys where I just you know just share it with you guys i think over like 48 different boots yeah i went crazy i love like i said i love knee-high boots and i wanted to give you like you know ladies a variety you know because i know we all have different tastes and you know we like different things so i just wanted to give you guys a variety so that you can shop you know that's why i like to do these corresponding blog posts so that i can you know sh you know give you guys some options so that i can shop for you so that you don't have to worry about going out here and looking so hopefully it makes it easier for you gals but yeah we're gonna style out some knee-high boots i'm gonna share with you guys six pair i have several but these are probably i feel like these are probably ones that most people would have in their wardrobe so if you want to see how i style up my knee-high boots then just keep watching All right, and the first pair I'm gonna style up are these, and they're just like in this chocolate brown kind of crocky fat kind of a knee-high boot, and I absolutely love these. They're like have this black heel, which I prefer a black heel over like a stiletto heel, although I do have some that are stiletto heels. Most of the ones I have are like a black heel or if they're flat, just because they're comfortable. But yeah, so these are, like I said, in this brown crock effect, and they are really old from, I think Just Fab's where I got these from. Um, so yeah, and they're really nice quality too, considering, um, and they have like this good cushion in them too, so they keep my legs warm. So that's another reason why I love knee high boots, because they offer you a little bit more warmth on your legs, especially when you have long legs like me, uh, you need a little bit extra warmth other than just, you know, what you have on as far as like your, you know, bottoms or whatever. So this provides a little bit extra warmth too. But yeah, so these are the first pair I'm gonna style up and I absolutely love the outfit that I styled these boots up with I mean this is just I love this dress this is probably one of my favorite dresses that I have in my fall and winter wardrobe because this is a dress that I typically only wear in the fall and winter even though it's kind of a lightweight dress so I really can get away with it wearing get away with wearing it you know like in the early parts of fall when it's still kind of warm so yeah so starting from the top I have on a fedora y'all know I love fedoras and it's just like in this brown tone this, this whole outfit is kind of brown neutral so yeah the hat is from I think it's from H&M it's old so I, have, I don't even know where I got it from and then of course I have on these sunglasses with the orange tinted lenses that I style up in every video I love them so when you love something you wear it right so these are from amazon i just have on like a little chain necklace like a choker type of chain necklace i think that's from zara and then um the dress like i said um like i was telling you guys or what i, what I was talking about as far as the dress um this dress is just a snake skin print and it has like a mesh detail like an overlay and then it has like a little slip dress underneath there so this i think i got it from zara i believe and it's pretty old but i just love this snake skin print of it um but yes as you can see it's kind of see-through kind of mesh so that's why i say can really only can get away wearing this like fall time in the winter time it's probably going to be too cold for me to wear this but 
of course I like to layer so I can kind of winterize it um, and then I just have on a light layer like a little crochet type of cardigan type of thing that I got from Vici you think I got this over the summertime and then of course I have on the boots and then my bag this is all Saints and I got it off Revolve so yeah so just pretty much a neutral outfit all brown I love playing with brown I think brown is just a pretty color to wear you know in the fall and, and then winter time too so absolutely love this outfit it's a cute outfit to go you know go out on a date night or something um go out with your girlfriends you know hang out with your girls you know or just go out hang out with yourself i think this is a cute outfit very chic um very much so like fall and winter appropriate or fall appropriate i should say um and i love all the texture all the detail this is just a very interesting outfit and yeah love it you guys let me know what you think about how i styled up my knee high boots with this outfit and we will go on to the next one all right and these are the next pair of knee high boots that i have and as you can see they are pink so this is probably the most colorful one that i have i don't have many colorful knee high boots most of them are like neutral absolutely love these and they have like a little stiletto heel which like i said most of my boots are like a block heel or flat so um i don't have many like these kind of with the little stiletto heel but i saw them um on another youtuber i think her name is lisa d1 i think um i seen these a few i think either last year or the or two years ago she had had these and so I had to go on the site and get them immediately um but I just love these are like as you can see like this pink they're like a muted kind of salmon kind of color and of course they have that croc effect which I love and these are actually from shoots so they were pretty expensive so you know I think they were like around 200 but for me you know there's something it's something that I'll have in my wardrobe for years so I'm I'm willing to invest in footwear like if I don't invest in anything else I will indeed invest in my footwear because you know you that's where you get most of your wear out of is in your feet because you're walking so you want something comfortable you want something that'll last you want something that you know will you know stand the test of time with the weather and the elements so you need a good you need a good you need some good footwear so I'm, I'm willing to invest in my footwear so um but they're just really good quality I keep them in the little dust bag because they did come in the dust bag because they are so expensive and I want to make sure they last um yeah I keep them in the dust bag so they don't get ruined but as you can see they're in pristine pristine condition so um but yeah so I got these off shoots which is another I think it's shoots or shuts um I can't, I can't even I don't know the pronunciation so forgive me if I you know pronounce it wrong but um, it's a good brand. I'm not sure what they're based out of, but it's a good brand. They have really good shoes. I've had, I got several pairs of shoes from there before, so it's a good brand to get some, some footwear from. So, but anywho, so the outfit, I just kept it pretty, you know, pretty basic and neutral with this outfit because the boots are really the star of the show, right? You know, I have that little pop of pink with this white, and I know it's not really a fall type of outfit, especially with the pink boots. It's more, it's more so like a spring outfit. Like this will be a cute outfit to wear, like trends from winter to spring but um, I love this I love it I, I wear this in the fall in the winter time too um, you know the winter whites of course so I'm um, sorry for the top these sunglasses they are old they're like a round kind of frame sunglass and these are from Shein and then my faux leather jacket my little biker jacket that is from the brand Guess, but I got it off of Nordstrom rack and just absolutely love it and then underneath that I just have on a just midi dress that i got from h m it's like a ribbed kind of stretchy material and i love this i love these dresses from h m i get them in all the colors whenever they come out i think i have it in a green i just recently got uh this version in a blue over the summertime so these are just the perfect like layering pieces um that you can just use as like your base and then add you know layering pieces to this so love this dress um and then my handbag i just wanted to add a little bit more texture because we have the knit of the dress and then of course the faux leather of the jacket and then the croc effect of the you know knee high boots so i want to add another texture just to kind of you know make this outfit a little bit interesting and so i went with this like shirling kind of faux you know shirling um little shoulder bag that i got i think that's from zara if i'm not mistaken um but yeah so i absolutely love this outfit and then of course i have on some pearls or like a layering necklace type of situation but they all it all comes together so um but yeah i absolutely love this outfit just very chic and you know sophisticated and classy like i said knee high boots just really just take your outfit you know to another level they make your outfit look sophisticated and classy regardless of what you're wearing so I absolutely love this outfit i wear this you know date you know go on a date or something you know 
like I said, a night out with the girls. You know, I think this will be cute if you work in like an office environment. You can wear something like this to the office as well. Just neutral and doesn't draw too much attention. You know, you know, you do have to pop a color, but you know, if you don't have pink boots, you can use this outfit for any kind of like boot that you have that's like colorful. So just kind of keep that in mind if you don't have any pink boots. So, but I think in my corresponding blog post, I think I did put, I think I did have some pink boots on there if you want to check it out. But yeah, just absolutely love this outfit. Definitely is something that I'm going to be wearing this fall and winter season. You guys let me know what you think about it and we'll get into the next pair of boots. Alright, my next pair of boots are these and they're just, uh, just a plain and simple black boot. I feel like everybody has a black boot so that's why I kind of went with this. I'll try to stay, like I said, try to stick with boots and boot colors and styles that I feel like everybody has so that way you can get some inspo. So yeah, so I went with these black boots here and these are actually the only pair of black knee high boots that I own. Um, I would like to get some some more, I feel like I need any more because this is this is pretty much all I need because it's a comfortable shoe and it's a block heel like I like. So I think about getting like a stiletto um, knee high boot, but we'll see. Um, but these are from Mango. Mango is another brand. Y'all know, if you've been following me, if you're a, a you know, subscriber here, then you probably know that I love Mango. And they have good footwear as well. And I especially love their knee high boots. They're a little bit on the pricey side too, especially if you get like genuine leather ones, which I think this is what these are. These are definitely, yeah, these are definitely genuine leather. So they're real leather. So these for a pricey of course I think probably around the 200 mark maybe between 100 and 200 dollars that's kind of like what mango their boot prices run when they are genuine leather so but like I said you know invest in some good footwear because you wear them you know wear them out you know a lot and you want to make sure that you get your wear out of them um, but yeah so these are the black knee high boots and so with the outfit I kind of went a little casual with this outfit um, I know I just kind of contradicted myself when I said knee high boots really just elevate your look and they're more make your outfit more you know dressy um, but with this outfit I kind of I went with like all casual um, you know pieces to kind of make the boots where they're not so dressy even though there's it's still dressy now don't get me wrong but it's like a casual dressy it's like a dress down kind of casual if you will um, so starting from the top I went with this sequin little beret that I got from Zara last year I just absolutely love it um, just to kind of go with like the the, the yellows and the golds because it's a lot of yellow and gold and I love yellow and gold um, against my skin tone because I do have like a golden undertone so yellow looks great on me in my opinion so I went with this um, yeah like gold beret and then I went with this gold and I like a yellow kind of like a mustard yellow if you will um, cardigan that I got from H&M a couple of years ago when it's just like in this what do you call this print I can't think of the name of this print right now argyle print yeah argyle print but yeah like i said i got this from h m a couple of years ago and i just buttoned it up to start turning into a shirt that's kind of like what i've been loving here lately is like take taking a cardigan and buttoning it up and turning into a sh uh, shirt so that's what i did with this and then i went with this denim skirt that i just recently got from boohoo i just absolutely love it i love the color it's like a washed out kind of gray color and um, i just absolutely love it i just want it like i said something dressed down and this is definitely a dressed down piece so yeah so that's from boohoo and then um the handbag that is like a bottega dupe that i got from etsy just to kind of go with the yellow theme of this outfit so just it's not it doesn't match the, the top perfectly but you know it's still in the fa same family so it works it adds a little bit of detail to the outfit and then of course the boots my sunglasses those are from ego i believe there's like a cat eye frame like tortoise shell type of um, situation and then I just have on just a couple little bangles that I got from Shein and then my choker is from Zara's so it's like a wire type of situation going on there so but absolutely love this outfit like I said this is kind of like a dress down a way to dress down the boots it's just like with like some dress down pieces and the, the most dress down piece I guess you could say is the skirt because it's a denim skirt and it's kind of like washed out that washed out kind of gray kind of edgy kind of look to it so um but yeah I absolutely love this outfit I just like all these outfits I'm, I've kind of like I style on the fly if you guys are new here I don't really pre-plan these outfits I just kind of like pull pieces as I go as I create the looks as I'm filming actually so yeah so I was just happy when I came up with this because this is definitely an outfit that I'm gonna wear soon because I absolutely love it so but you guys let me know what you think about how I styled up my black knee high boots with this outfit and we will get into the next one all right the next pair of knee high boots I'm gonna style up are these and these are probably one of my favorites 
I have several favorites, so I, I need to stop saying they're my favorite because I have several favorites. Um, but yeah, I love these. I have had these for several years as well. And of course, they're snake skin print, which I love. And I got these from Zara. And again, they're like this block heel. Like I said, I prefer block heel. So they're in this block heel. And yeah, I just absolutely love these. Like I said, I got these from Zara. And they've held up pretty well considering um, they're from Zara. But Zara, you know, I'm not going to knock Zara. Obviously, I love Zara, but I'm not going to knock their shoe wear because they, they actually have some pretty good shoe, shoe wear. Like their boots and their shoes are pretty good. Um, so I'm not going to knock them. So, um, but yeah, they're just like a faux leather. And yeah, like I said, they've held up pretty good. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to style these up. And with the outfit, I kind of, I don't know. I kind of went outside the box a little bit with this outfit. Um, like I said, I style these, I've been styling these pieces on the fly or I style these looks on the fly. So not really a whole lot of, you know, thinking, you know, that goes into it. I just kind of like pull something and you know put it together and see how it looks and so this is what I do with this um you guys let me know what you think um starting from the top I have on this bike this like baker boy hat it's like in this black and I think this is from H&M and then my sunglasses are like extreme like small cat eye frame sunglasses that I got from Shein and then I have on just a black plain black hoodie that I got from H&M and then my biker jacket or it's actually a bomber jacket actually this bomber jacket is kind of like in this brown kind of washed out detail and that is from Zara I just recently got it my skirt is a sequin skirt which I don't have any sequin skirt this is the only sequin skirt I own and I actually found this in Target and I had to scoop it up immediately because I love red we know red it's a trending color and plus, you know, I needed, I wanted something sequin to wear for the fall and winter time. So I got this and I just love it. Absolutely love it. And then of course the boots and then I just have on my Prada bag. So with this outfit, it's very much so different because, you know, we're styling up a, you know, sequin skirt. It's usually, you know, when you think of sequins, you think of styling it up in like a dressy way. So with this, I kind of went casual a little bit. Um, I guess it's kind of casual up top and then the bottom is more dressy. So uh, to me, I feel like it works. I really love this outfit. Um, I don't really know where I would go to wear this outfit. Like, I don't know because it's just so just different. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I definitely kind of went outside of the box with this and never would have thought to put these pieces together. But you know as i always say fashion is supposed to be fun if you can't have fun with your fashion then what are you doing so um but i absolutely love this outfit it's just so cute and like i said never would have thought to put this put this these pieces together but to me they work i don't know i would wear i wear i don't know i'd wear this to you know a brunch or something or you know for a night out or something i think it's just cute and chic and something just different and you know unexpected and I feel like it's something that, you know, will have people intrigued and be like, oh, I, that's kind of different. You know what I mean? Like, it's a conversation starter, if you will. So, but I love this outfit. Like, I would further, like, winter rides it, I guess, and wear, like, some, you know, stockings or some tights or something, you know, in case, you know, I get a little bit cold and need a little bit more warmth. Because the slit is, the slit is pretty high. <laughs> pretty high. So, and I didn't really, I really didn't realize that when I bought this skirt. Because um, I don't even think I tried it on when I found it at Target. Um, cause the slit is kind of too, a little high for my, for my comfort. But like I said, I would just wear like a, you know, some tights or something underneath it. If I wanted it's a little bit more comfort, a little bit more comfort level for me. So, but it's cute. I love it. Like I did, like I said, I never would have thought to put this sequin skirt with these pieces, but to me, it just, it's just, it works to me. You guys let me know what you think about it, but this is probably one of my favorites of out of all the looks I'm going to share with you guys. But you guys let me know what you think about how I styled up my knee high boots with this outfit and we will get into the next one. All right, my next pair of new high boots are my newest ones. These are the ones that I just purchased recently, I think over a month ago. And these were actually on my wish list um, because I had been seeing them styled up all over Instagram and everywhere else, I think. And so they are these. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they're like this butter yellow color, which is a trending color for the season and for the year, really. And so I love these. I love like the pointed, like the square toe here detail and then they have like a little kitten not, not really a kitten heel they're a little bit higher than a kitten heel but it's a comfortable heel and they, I love how the heel just kind of like flares out like that I don't know if you can see that but yeah these are definitely the probably the most comfortable knee-high boots that I have I mean they are super comfortable and I just absolutely love these and yeah I've been wearing them and as I as you can see because I kind of have a little bit of wear on them already so they kind of 
kind of scuffed them already, which I hate that. I guess it kind of makes them look more lived in, I guess, if you will. So, but yeah, I absolutely love these. Like I said, these are a new purchase that I just recently got from um, Tony Bianco. I think I got them right off of the website and it is an Australian brand. I love Australian brands. Like they, they just do no wrong when it comes to their um, apparel and shoe wear. So, but yeah, so these are from Tony Bianco. Like I said, these are the newest pair that I just got. And so as far as the outfit, um, I just went kind of all neutral with this outfit. It's kind of giving me like old money, kind of quiet luxury vibes a little bit. Um, so starting from the top, my sunglasses are just my square frame uh, Ray-Bans. And then I went with like this off the shoulder detail type of sweater. It's very old from H&M. We know that off the shoulder is a huge trend right now. So I just kind of went with the one shoulder type of detail. Um, I don't know, just to kind of do something different with it because it is, it goes all the way off the shoulder, but um, it's kind of one of those off the shoulders that when you move, it just kind of goes up. <laughs> like the whole sweater kind of goes up and then it's annoying. So I find that it doesn't do that as much if I just kind of do it on one shoulder. So that's what I did. I kind of like went on one shoulder and then I added my little YSL brooch just to add a little bit more styling to the look because I didn't want to do a necklace, but I wanted some sort of accessory. So yeah, I went with my YSL brooch and then I went like with this little cuff that I got from Shein. Um, as you can tell, I love a little high low. Like I'm, I'm not ashamed to do high low. Like I'm not ashamed to go to Shein to get some cute accessories, nor am I, you know, and I, you know, don't mind, you know, spending a little bit um and investing in more higher end uh, accessories it's about hollow you know um but yes yeah, so i went with this cuff that i got from shein and then i styled up my shorts um like i said you can still wear shorts with these knee-high boots and wear shorts you know in the fall and winter time um these shorts are like a trouser short and they are from h&m i got these last year i believe and then I went, of course, the boots. And then I went with this yellow little bag that I styled up in a previous outfit that I got from Etsy. It's like a Bottega dupe. So um, just to kind of go with the boots. Although it's kind of, it's a little off. They're not exactly the same, but kind of in the same color family. So, but yeah, I love this outfit. It's just super chic and just very stylish. It's a cute little brunch outfit to go, you know, eat brunch with your girls or go eat brunch by yourself. Um, I just love this look. I just think it's, like I said, just kind of gives me old money, kind of quiet luxury kind of vibe and yeah I just absolutely love it and it's very chic and a little bit casual with a little bit dressed up it's kind of like a mix of casual and you know dressed up if you will so but yeah I absolutely love this outfit I never would have thought to you know put these pieces together especially um, like the you know boots with the shorts um, especially these particular boots and I would have thought to put them with these shorts but um, like I said I just love it just like I said it's giving me quiet luxury it's giving me you know expensive <laughs> so um, but you guys let me know what you think about it um, and how I styled up the boots for this outfit and we will get into the last pair of boots alright the last pair of boots I'm gonna style up are these and I love these. These are actually like a Saint Laurent YSL dupe, if you will. And these are from Zara. I've had these a couple of years. And like I said, they are a dupe for YSL. And I remember these were very expensive. Well, I say very expensive, but um, I guess expensive is relative. I guess it depends on the person and your budget. But um, at the time that I got them, I, they probably were expensive to me. I don't know. A couple of years ago, I've had these. Um, but they're just like a block heel, like a short block heel, not as high as the other ones. So, um, but yeah, I absolutely love these. And they're like in this brown color, which I love. And they have like a little, the tip of them have, it's like a little bit darker. So I love that detail. They kind of look like a Western boot, but not really. Um, and I think they were like in, in between one and $200. And they definitely are, again, genuine leather from Zara. So like I said, Zara, they have some nice quality boots like you know we're not gonna sleep on them and you know bash them even though they are fast fashion they do uh, you know occasionally have some good you know really good pieces so but I love these boots and the outfit that I style these up with is actually the outfit that I have on now so um, starting from the top I have on my little green beret that I just recently got from Mango I absolutely love it I just wanted a little pop of color you know to add to this neutral look so I went with this green beret and then I have on this vest this vest I got I think in the beginning of the year I got it from Cos. I think I got it on sale too so it's just like a full shirling little vest and I love this so and then underneath that I just have on this little layering top probably from H&M I've had this for years like literally years probably five or six years at this point so it's just like a little layering top and then as far as my bottoms I have on these stirrup leggings I think these are from Zara either Zara or H&M I can't remember um but yeah there's just some stirrup leggings because you know again like I said if we're gonna wear you know boots over our you know 
pants or trousers then I like for them to be a little bit fitted so I went with these stirrup leggings and they're just like in this kind of ribbed kind of material they have like a little pleat in the middle so they kind of like make them a little bit dressy so yeah so I have those and then of course the boots and then my handbag it is from Gucci um, like a vintage Gucci bag that I got secondhand off this Dear Collective. So, but this is just a neutral look. I love styling up brown and black together. If you guys have been following me, then you know that. So, um, but yeah, I just thought this was a cute outfit. I definitely would wear this to run errands because it's a cute little running errands look. Like if I need to go to the store or if I want to go shopping somewhere, you know, or a weekend little outfit. Um, or even like, you know, if you're going, going to the airport or something, I think it's a cute little airport outfit, you know, airport outfit because you can just slip these boots on and right off. So, um, but yeah, I love this outfit. This is definitely a cute outfit. I definitely am going to be wearing this one pretty soon. I may wear this today because I, that's how much I like it. Like, I, I think it's kind of, it looks like it's kind of hot outside today, so I probably shouldn't wear this, but... I don't know. I might, I might wear this today because this is, this is really cute. You guys let me know what you think about how I style up this outfit. And yeah, that's it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And I hope you got a little bit of outfit inspo. And yeah, it's time to wear the boots, girl. If you haven't already, some of you probably have. But um, I guess depending on where you live, it's not really as cold yet. And to really be wearing these a lot. But hopefully the temperatures start to you know drop a little bit and I can wear these a little bit more because I have so many in my collection and I could have showed you guys more if you want a part two you know just just stay tuned because y'all know I do styling videos so I'm sure you know I will be styling up several of my knee-high boots over the fall you know fall and winter season so just you know stay tuned and don't forget to you know like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos because I do a ton of fashion and you know lifestyle videos but mostly fashion so and also before I forget don't forget to check out the course Spreading blog post where like I said I shared with you guys 48 different you know knee-high boots for you guys there's like a salt you know a variety from different you know price points that I tried to share with you guys so check out the corresponding blog post I will link it down in the description box as well for you guys so but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one all right bye guys